Hey, this right here needs no introduction. Listen, I'm just gonna take the mystery out of making Southern green beans. Listen, super easy, over the top on flavor. Let's get it. Okay, so what you guys didn't see is, listen, I got red potatoes there in the back. You know, when you get your potatoes, they're gonna come all different types of, you know, sizes, right? But we are gonna cut these down and we are gonna get them to be the same. So that way when they cook, they'll all be ready at the same time. And then here I got myself a red onion. I'll show you how I cut that down. Now, don't forget, if you've been following me, you know, as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. So let me go ahead and make, a, uh, make some room and then we'll talk about the rest. Okay, so look, this is how we gonna do this. We are gonna multitask, right? So, I'm using my Dutch oven. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna start with like a medium, just a medium flame, right? So we are gonna start getting that hot. Now, check this out over here. This right here is beef bacon. I'll put a link to where I get my beef bacon from. I'm working on getting you guys a link, but I promise you this right here tastes better than pork bacon. I don't know why or how they did it, but I don't use nothing else but you know, beef bacon. Only way I would probably use something else now, this late in the game is if I didn't have none. So, what I'm gonna do is, we just take them, right? And then we just gonna cut these down. You know what I mean? Just like, I say about one inch, you know, strips. That's good right there. So look, we gonna render down all of the fat that comes on here. And that's what we gonna start with, right? This is gonna be our base. So I just separate it, drop them in like this. So you hear it, you know, it's cooking. So what I'm doing now is I'm just moving this around. And then, you know, I like to talk about having the right tools for the job. I love having, you know, just square edge, look, on the bottom. So when I'm working like that, it only poses a problem if it was more on the liquid side and you want to get in the corners. But for most of my cooking, I just love, this is like my favorite wooden spoon. So just move this around like this. Make sure most of it is, you know, pretty flat. You know what I mean? Because we want to render down some of that. Now we talked about multitasking. Now we're going to move over to our potatoes. Right? We want them to all be about the same size, right? So when I cut them, I'll cut them down like this. You know what I mean? And I'll make these, because obviously these are bigger. I'll make each one of these pieces the same size as I make these two. And I'll do that. Listen, we're putting a lot of flavor in here. And when you cook these, and then we start doing our onions and all of that, everything just turns out just right. This is what gives it that, a lot of flavor, and this gives it that southern, you know, that southern bite. Okay, so look, you could just see how far I let this bacon render down, right? I don't want it to be like super crispy, you know what I mean? So look, I just get myself a bowl, you know, the holes, the same thing we do when we make regular bacon, paper lined it, you know, try to absorb some of that, you know, some of the oil, right? So we'll take this out. I'm gonna drain some of this in here, but this is all we need right here. That right there is what you like. You see that? Still a little bit on the soft side, but that's okay. Cause even if you make it crispy, it's gonna soften it up cause we are gonna cook that. I always like to make sure that my onion gets a head start, right? So, we got the fat that's in there right now. Now I'll just introduce, you know, my onions. And we're gonna let these, you know, like I say, we giving these a head start. You want these to break down. And I'll show you what they look like. You know what I mean? They are gonna get smaller, translucent, all that, right? I'm back at that medium heat. And we are gonna let this just to start to render down. Now, while that's rendering down and after I clean this up, we finna cut our potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down like this, right? We just wanna get the right sizes. I want all of my potatoes to be about this size right here, right? So this one to be easy, because really all we doing is quartering it, right? So we put that over there. Now here is where to get a little different, you know what I mean? But just use your you know, your eyes, you know what I mean? You just want them to all be about the same, right? So as you can see, I cut them in half and then quarter them. I don't like this little piece, look like it's trying to grow a little spud. On the side, we get rid of that. We do the same thing here, half, and then now we quarter. And that'll just about give you about the same sizes. So I want you guys to take a look at this right here. This is important. I say it's important, you know what I mean? Cause like, it's up to you how far you want your red onions to go down. You can use yellow onions, I should have said that too, or white. Most people cook with like the yellow for more like the sweetness, right? But for me, it's always red onions is like my choice. So now I'm gonna take my potatoes and I'm gonna add these in here like this, right? Some people boil theirs, you know what I mean? But this is the way I do mine, you know what I mean? And then I wanna get this coated with all of the onion and that bacon flavor on here too. And I know that somebody's gonna ask me this, 
Can I use, you know, regular pork bacon? Absolutely. It's only until I discovered that brand of that uh, beef bacon is why I use the beef. It's a little bit more on the healthier side, right? So now we're going to add our salt, right? I'm going to give it just two, man, just two pinches. I'll just say that. You know what I mean? These are potatoes. It's cool to use that. You know what I mean? That amount, that's not too much. And then here, I'd like to, you know, use that pepper. Here I can see my pepper going in here. I like to see all of the potatoes and everything coated with it. You know what I mean? I don't know that you can even put too much pepper in here. I'm sure somebody can, but you know, not me. You know what I mean? I love the taste of it. So we'll just leave it like that. Set that down. Then I'm going to bring the real game changer. That's this right here. That's the Creole kick. Listen, it's just a perfect blend. You know what I mean? With the right amount of kick to give it that Southern, you know, that Creole slash, I guess I say Cajun, you know, flavor. This right here is really like the secret. It's one of the secrets, my secret anyway. You guys are used to me putting everything in a bowl, you know what I mean? But we want to use this, you know, like I say, just about a tablespoon. And then for those of you guys that do know, you can let me know down in the comment section below, how many teaspoons in a tablespoon? Ah, yeah. I could just feel like when you touch them, you could just feel your potatoes, just the edges, like where you cut them at, just that, that, that square edge right there starting to get a little bit soft. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come, you know, with my garlic. Oh yeah. You know, you start adding that garlic, folks, you know it's starting to become ripe. You remember I had butter? We dropped the butter in there right now. Look, butter to me is just nothing but flavor. You know what I mean? We already had the fat from the uh, bacon. So this right here, we just move this around. That'll help that garlic too. You know what I mean? Look at how now it's starting to like get it real nice and loose, not so pasty. And we just continue to cook it down just like you see. Let's get that butter down there on the bottom so we can get some of that heat. Okay, now we talk about the peas. Peas are just super easy, right? I done already rinsed these, got them all dry, let them sit up like this. Listen, when they're fresh, you just move them like this and they pop. They should snap. You know what I mean? I usually take, like when I get to these edges like this, I take them, you see how I pull that off of there? I do them just like that, just like Granny did. You remember when you used to come in, you see your Granny like on the table, she had her little bag or whatever, it's the same thing. You see this little string? I just pull that off and do that too. All right, so look, I'm not gonna bore you guys. You guys know how to snap these peas, you know, when you're doing them fresh. Okay, so check it out. Look right here. This is nice right here. That's a whole lot of flavor, folks. Now look, we finna get that to transfer onto these beans. This is where it get real easy, folks. Look, you just wanna add this in here like this. And I just wanna give this a mix. You know why? Because we got a whole lot of flavor in there and it's in a liquid form. You know what I mean? We want it just to transfer onto there. That's cool. You can just see how it's getting ready to come together anyway. You know what I mean? I see onion. Of course, I see the potatoes. I know we got that beef bacon. I know we got that Creole kick. We put a little butter in there. Hey, this right here, is the way I make it. I promise you, if you guys just give it a chance, but this right here should be explained a little bit better and really, really beginner friendly. Now I'm getting ready to add, boom, my bacon. You guys saw better than bouillon. Listen, if you don't have uh, chicken stock, most people probably have better than bouillon like in your cabinets, right? You could have used this and mix it up with water. I like to start with like at least four cups, right? It depends on how many, how much of uh, how many green beans you have, right? Because what I want to do is I just want to cover them, you know, with this. So most people make them with water. You've been following this channel, you know. Anytime I use anything that calls for water, if I want to like level it up and make it just over the top, what we use? That's right, folks. We use chicken stock, right? So look, I'll just start adding this. You know what I mean? And look. I've just been making it so long, you know what I mean? So four cups is good. And again, if you don't have that, if you got better than bouillon, just get your, you know, mix you something up. And look, the stronger you make it, the more flavor you putting in there. Now, I'm looking at this right now. Now I just want to bring this to a boil. Once I get it to a boil, then we're going to set it to a simmer. We're going to put this top on there, and then we're going to roll for about, uh, <laughs> it depends, you know what I mean? I usually say about an hour to get them just right. But you want to make sure your potatoes is fork tender. You know what I mean? And then uh, you can look at them beans and them, be um, them beans be just right. So let me get this up to a boil and then we move on. Okay, so I can hear it, right? Listen, this is what I wanted. This is where I wanted to be, right? So look, real simple. We got it to a boil. I'm gonna try to push as much as these potatoes down inside of this as possible. I could have added a little bit more, but a little bit more of this chicken broth, but 
that's good right there. So now I just want to set it down to a simmer. Once we have it down to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and put this top on there and we're gonna set a timer for one hour. I'm gonna tell you, I've already checked this. Look at this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove it. You wanna talk about soft? Let me go ahead and get myself a toothpick. I know y'all, especially down south, you get down with that toothpick in your mouth, and that's how you, you know, that's just how we get down, right? So this right here is just right. Now, listen, I've tasted it, and if you feel like it need any adjustment, you can go ahead and hit it with a, uh, you can hit it with a little bit of salt, just to wake it up a little bit more. For me, and don't forget, that's why I use that Creole kick, because it's so, you know what I mean? It's so low in the sodium, you just give a little bit just to enhance the flavors, and bam. But I want you to look at this too. And let me know down in the comment section below, I'm gonna raise that up right there and I'm gonna let that just drip down like that right there. Is that pot liquor too? You guys let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, so with that being said, let's just go ahead and just go ahead and put some of this in here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna drain a little bit. Gotta get some of that beef bacon. You know what I mean? Oh, and then listen, only thing missing right now is that hot water cornbread. I don't know why I didn't make none. You know what I mean? But it's so easy and fast to make. You know what I mean? Uh, look at that right there, folks. If that don't say Southern Green Bean, and you know we got them Creole, that Creole kick in there, I don't know what does. So, let me go ahead and uh, just get set up, and let's taste it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you know what? And some of this bacon on here, too. Hey, cheers, y'all. You see that steam coming up? Where is my sweet tea? I ain't gonna lie to you. I said that, where's my sweet tea? I'm thinking about right now, like on the real, when I put that in my mouth right there, I'm thinking about where is my cornbread? Cause you're supposed to hit that and drop it. You know, let it soak that up and then hit it too. Hey, with that being said, look, look let me go ahead and give me a napkin. Mm. Hey, it's, it's just fire. You know what I mean? It's super easy. I don't want to scare you guys. Listen, because sometimes when you see things that are simple, you start thinking like, that can't be it. He missing something like that. Hey, try this. And especially by new people, you looking to gain your confidence, then this is the dish for you. You want to you know, like show out and make something for grandma? Hey, I can tell you this right now. Run home, see granny, go see your mama, whatever you got to do. Do this. Say, hey, bring the ingredients with you. Put this together. After one hour of you guys talking, then you can put that out. And then she going to say, hey, where did you learn to do that? Hey, with that being said, listen, if you like this comment, this kind of content you know hit me up and let me know down in the comment section below and speaking of that don't forget to go by my website you, don't forget i got printable recipes if you like it like that you can look down in the description box if you just want to get it you know uh, take a screenshot of it when you're in the grocery store however you want to do it ab got you right and then don't forget i got merch got aprons got some other colors i'm gonna put be putting those on the website you know we got these boards boards or might be a little bit expensive when you guys see them but don't forget everything that's over 100 bucks is broke up into four easy payments hey with that being said listen it's super simple for y'all now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm about to chow down. Peace.